Hi everyone. So, finally, I want to discuss NE and TE. So the, the types being described here are the ENFP and the ESTJ, right? They're the ones who push NE and TE, their dominant and tertiary functions or leading and mobilizing functions. So I said before with NI and TI that they are oriented around truth. Well, NE and TE are also concerned with truth because, again, it's intuition and thinking. It is the almost abstracted sense of what is actually true in the universe. But the difference is, any and TE takes a denying approach to that, and that may, puts them in conflict with NI and TI. Right? They deny that ultimate, absolute truth. Instead, they take a very much more relativist position, rather than absolutist position. So, what does that mean? Well, any and TE... If, if you ever, if you ever um, asked an any TE type a question... You may often get the answer, well, it depends on the situation. In this situation, I think of this. And in this situation, I think of that. It just depends on the situation. And that can be very frustrating for a TI type when they get that sort of response. But that is kind of how NETE thinks. ASTJs and ENFPs, how they tend to think. They are very averse to tying things up in a way which simplifies the data, which reduces the scope and breadth of experiences towards something supposedly absolutist and which cannot actually be questioned. These types are very inclined to question things, to suggest, well, why is it this way? Why is it not that way? How, what about in this situation here? And I observe this thing, which seems to be an exception to what you're suggesting here. So how do I know that that actually is how it works? Couldn't it also be this? Couldn't it also be that? How else could it work? So they are constantly broadening out in their pursuit of knowledge. And in doing so, they will almost throw away any semblance of signal in the knowledge. They will be very much oriented towards the noise. And grasping all of the noise and getting a sense of how that noise can be used and applied in all sorts of different ways. They're not looking for structure. They're looking for as many facts as they can in all sorts of different situations and complexities. And so when they talk, they're going to relate to you all of the complexity. You know, how it all applies here and there and here and there. They're not going to want to give you a generalized set of rules and norms for things. They're going to want to give you lots of examples of how things have worked here and have worked there and have worked here and had worked there. That's the idea for any and TE. They, they don't, they feel like putting ahead as an absolute this truth. It's narrow. It's too rigid. It's too um, disconnected from the data which we can see and we, which we can actually test and try out and experiment with. And yeah, NET wants to be continuously experimenting. They don't want to set truth. They want to be continuously learning. If, if these types which are always learning, always trying to acquire new facts and improve upon themselves in some way, if you give them the absolute truth, then once they've learned the absolute truth, what else is there to learn? So that, that, that's anathema for NETE. They don't want to be told they can't continue learning in all sorts of ways, shapes and directions. For them, it's a continuous journey. So to be given the truth is essentially to ruin the game of it all. So no, that's not. they won't believe it. They won't, they'll be sceptical towards that idea. Very, very much. No, there's all, there must be more to this. There must be more to discover. There must be more to turn over and improve and practice in order to become a more, uh, to more effective and learn and grow in, in, on my journey of personal growth and development. This truth is, 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 is not going to be enough for that. I'm not going to be satisfied by that. So NETE doesn't like that. Instead, they go towards the noise. They go towards the many different situations in which things could be other than the truth. They'll look for the exceptions, the alternative circumstances, and they'll dwell on the uniqueness of each circumstance in its nature. And in doing so, yeah, they'll, 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 they will be continuously questioning and keeping things uncertain 
and unsure because they think only when you're uncertain, only when you are doubting in that area and you're turning things over and you're trying things out, are you actually going to be willing to actually keep learning. If you focus on the truth, you're going to block out any possibility of continuing to learn. So this is why I say NETE is denying the idea of the truth, the absolute truth. It is a relativistic thing. It is a continuously learning and growing where in each situation it is different. It depends on the situation. So that's NE and TE for the ENFP and the ESTJ. So I hope that helped.